G'day everybody, I just sort of figured right now I would do a quick run through on how to play Farming Simulator 19. As you can see I've got the premium edition, but basically I'll just give you a, a few basic tips on what how I play. Um, basically, obviously when I'm playing my gameplay series, you can watch and there's more to it, but this is just a few tips and tricks that I tend to use. Okay, the first thing that I do before I play ever is I come down to the um, to the word mods. I always click into that, and of course it takes a few moments, and you're given a plethora of information. Up in the top left, you've been given the word mod hub, which gives you, well, as you can see, tractors, sugarcane. Basically everything that's come out on the game so far that w that's available to you across the board. Doesn't matter if you're playing console or um, if you're playing on computer. From what I understand you'll have all this available to you. The next, I, I push my top right button. Next along you have installed. Now these are everything that I have installed um, the, a lot of these came with the game when I downloaded it um, now just a bit of a heads up things like the bakery um, and the factories that I'm playing with in a game currently they don't work absolutely everywhere um, so the production packs and things like that they don't work on every map they are specified maps. So if I go into production pack right here, um, it will actually tell you um, what maps it's actually available for. Um, anyway, I'll go back. Um, so as you can see, I've got quite a few different different maps along here. Oh, well, quite a few different mods. So the next thing is updates. That's where anything that's been updated by the mod creator is going to put put anything, anything that you've already got installed, sorry. Of course, you've got your downloads. That's where whatever you're downloading goes. Um, downloadable content. Everything that comes standard from Giants. Um, the best. Everything that's used more, uh, most often um, most downloaded, same thing. I am going to download the government subsidy. Hopefully that's not going to clash with anything. On that note, um, you do get mod clashes. If you've got as many as m most of us have, you, it's really hard to pinpoint which one is going to clash. Um, in this case, I'm pretty sure that the government subsidy is going to clash with my factories, but... Let's hope that it's not going to work that way. Next on the tabs, you've got the latest. That is, new mods are coming out each and every day. Um, so if you want to know what they are, check check here. Um, often I'll just watch what Mr. Sealy P's done. Um, he does pretty good reviews. And then you've got the recommended. That's where it takes from what you play and recommends the strategies accordingly um, going all the way back to um, go all the way back to the mod hub um, you've got up in the top left corner you've got the maps sorry if you can hear the neighbor's child in the background these are all the maps that you can play I'm not going to go into any in specific but you can actually choose you can go through them and decide how you're going to play all right so let's go back to the main menu i'm a little bit um i'm a little bit behind with mine okay so we go up to korea now as you can see i've only got the one save game happening that is the old farm countryside of course the factories and on console we have a grand total of 10 Alright, so, the next step is choose your uh, save game, 
And you've got New Farmer. It's uh, all these are self-explanatory. Um, you already own the land and some equipment on New Farmer. Start with a good amount of funds, and you've got to start from scratch. I'm just going to quickly, on this tutorial, give you a New Farmer experience. Um, Ravenport, Felsbrunn, Ellengrad, and of course I've got my factories and all that. For the case of this, let's just go with Felsbrunn. Um, I'm going to be doing some cheating here, so yeah, this is okay. Next you've got your character creation, similar thing, it's all standard. I tend to just keep this guy all the time. Okay, this area is where you choose what you do and don't want. Now, in this case, I want to go down to my factories and I want to deselect them um, by pushing the yellow Y button on my control. Uh, I... When you've got this many mods in, you've really got to look to find out where things are. Um, why? Okay. Now, a couple of things that... I'll go back up here. A couple of things that I always recommend is disabled vehicle camera collision. Let's you go see through walls, etc, etc. Another thing that I um, always recommend is the tool height control. Uh, wherever it is. Okay, I'm just going to um, deselect the pickup, ra ah, not the radio, rodi rodeo, I'll, I'll select that one again. I want to get rid of the factories in this case, um, just for this one, get rid of this, and I want to get rid of that. Um, get rid of that just for okay I always recommend using the tool height control for harvesters that just simply allows you to um, go uh, makes your headers faster for all your machines okay there's nothing else that I want to deselect here okay so then you push your start button that starts uh, to loading so what I'll do now is I'll put a cutscene in and I'll Bring you back when it's loaded. Okay, so you're going to have to ignore the child screaming in the background. That's just the neighbours. Um, anyway, so you just got to push A to start. Again, I'm using an Xbox. Um, so ignore that. So basically, what I'm firstly, I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some cheating. I am going to cheat in a government subsidy um, sign. That's just going to give us money whenever, all the time. Chuck in a few, so as we get lots of money quickly. Another thing that I'm going to do is an all-in-one station. Because this is really just a um, quick, quick tutorial to show you the basics and... Um, there was also another one that I saw in here, uh, grass station, no. let's just chuck in a TMR station just while, while we're at it, and a straw station. There are plenty of people out there who will teach you how to do that sort of stuff, so there's really no need for me to teach you any of that. Okay, now the first thing that I'm chasing here is do we own do we own the cows? It would appear not. So this is why I've um, why I've cheated in well why I'm cheating in money. Go to animal pens. Go to animal pens. Okay. Looks as though I'm going to have to fast forward some time to get some money up. So, now to fast forward, we go into settings. Uh, now you've got all these different settings under general settings. Uh, your volumes, 
whether you choose pounds, etc., etc. Um, you know, you've got your money units, dollar, pounds, measuring unit, kilometers, miles, area unit, acres, hectares, what have you. Okay, for, then you've got how, what you're going to call your save game, time scale. I'm not going to worry about any of these settings. Um, econo I'll just quickly put that onto 120. Um, economy um, difficulty, traffic, dirt, um, all these sorts of things. Um, I turn, tend to turn the helpers off, you know, um, stop them from buying everything. Um, yeah, plant weathering, it depends on whether or not you want to how real you want to run things, crop to, yeah, all these sorts of things, and I really won't be saving this, um, this one, so once it's up online, it's fine, and of course, the all-important pause button, um, all right. so going through this, um, you've got your fruit types, as it says, it's going to tell you wheat, barley, oats, etc., etc., and you can match the colors up accordingly. Okay, now if you go through and you push your A button, you can turn each one of these off, which will, and you can specify what exactly you're looking for. So if you're looking for whether or not your um, fields are cultivated, you turn that on, and any moment, it should tell you whether or not they are cultivated. Turn that off. Growing. Okay, clearly um, my field, anyway, so you've got growing, that's going to tell you which fields are growing to what point, ready to harvest, that'll tell you, you know, which ones are ready to harvest, harvested, you get the idea, sorry, then you've got soil composition, so you can turn on, on or off weeds, the level of fertilising, whether they need ploughing or lime, and once again you can turn them on one at a time, um, turn them off as well, and yeah, it just gives you the information that you're chasing in whatever region there. Okay, so we go back up there, and we're back to fruit types. The next window is the prices. You've seen me do that in my own game, so it doesn't really matter. Um... Now this is your list of machinery, it tells you obviously what machinery does, how many hours it's got, what it's worth, your income and expenditure, animals, we don't have animals yet, um, the contracts, that's basically another way to earn money that's not crops or animals, your, stati your statistics, geez, I'm not very good at that word, but self-explanatory, game settings, general settings, and a real basic run through on how things work. Okay, so all I'm going to need in this tutorial is a tractor with a trailer, because um, I'm not really doing anything else other than transporting stuff around. Just so as you just know, you've got a help window there, you can turn it on or off. I always leave it on, it's personal preference, you don't have to. Um, Alright, so, as you can see, we've got a fair bit of money there, so let's just push our garage. If this is everything that you own, then you can, um, so you can sell all your, sell whatever it is that you don't want. Um, going to have to go into, I only had the three of them. Seriously. Anyway, you get the idea of that. You can completely customize things how you want. Next thing I want to do is... Okay, it's not going to let me go into the animal pen, so let's see if we can find any on this map. Animal dealer, barn. Might have to buy everything just to be able to... Could have sworn that they gave you. Okay, this is probably because I've got the 
government subsidy scheme on the uh, I've got enough money to buy everything or at least most things obviously I right click to be able to buy all these different things I have no idea why I'm not coming up with animal hens and obviously at this point I can't seem to get into the animal pens um, I have no idea why that I'm clearly having a mod conflict with um, with the government subsidy um, but anyway you just get the idea um, I will talk more about animals in my other game but basically this all-in-one you can get seeds, straw, lime, grass, silage all this sort of stuff um, yeah, uh, I should probably have put the uh, speed back anyway um, this was just a quick handy hints um, something that I'll just say to you now, even though I can't get into the animals, um, you don't have to feed the animals all the way up. You just need to cover their basics. Um, alrighty. I hope this uh, you found this helpful in some way, shape or form. If you have, give me a like. Um, any questions, queries or anything like that, leave them in the comments below. Oh, until next time. Cheers.